So I thought I'd take a quick look around GoodNote 6 as it's recently had a really nice update to it that I'll get into in a second. But as a note-taking app, it really gives you everything that you kind of want. So I thought it'd be useful to kind of explore all the different features that are available. When you first go into it, very, very similar kind of Apple-type setup with your sidebar, easy access to different things, and then the arrangement of all your documents on the right-hand side, nice and simple. One thing to go through here, as well as your, your kind of area for your documents, favorites, um, and shared documents, just first of all, going to just jump into the marketplace because this is a really nice touch if there are specific things that you want to look for. So different types of paper, different types of planners, setups, uh, sticker templates that you can download. But if you're in education, there are specific things around examination prep. Now, I'm going to dive into this in a different video at some point, but just as a quick introduction, these maths practice courses are a great place to... to just work within the iPad, allow students to use things like the Apple Pencil to kind of practice things and it will check whether you're right or wrong. So it's kind of a nice, just different way for children to play around with things. As well as that, though, lots and lots of other kind of education type things that you can download here, uh, physics, you know, practice papers, etc. But like I said, the main area here for me are the different templates of different types of paper, etc. that you might want to use. So Marketplace, really, really nice thing to explore. Let's jump into a document though, for example. Basic setup here, you've got all those tools that you'll probably be familiar with using if you if you already do note taking and sketch noting example. We've got our pen tool, a razor, highlighter, shapes that you can add in, a lasso for obviously selecting things. And then we start to get into things like the stickers. So the stickers are really, really nice. Uh, this kind of links back to what we were talking about there with the marketplace. If you're into sketch noting, really, really quick and easy way to just kind of go, yep, we're gonna, this is what we're gonna be talking about. You don't have to do all the drawing, etc., all the time, but still have that visual representation. We also then have access to your camera roll, so all of your photos, etc., that you can drop in, text boxes. And then an ability to be able to kind of really, really refine the drawing, writing, etc., that you're doing. So you'll see at the bottom of the page now, I've got a window that I can write in. I've probably got my uh, text is a little bit too big on my pen at the moment. But you'll see that that gives me kind of a, an insight into what I'm doing. So good for doing corrections, etc. So if you want to tidy up notes afterwards, it's a really, really nice touch to be able to do that whilst you're on the page. And then finally, if you're presenting, a nice touch here is having a highlighter. So if you wanted to draw attention to different things, just like having that laser pen, etc., that I'm sure people have used in the past, to be able to highlight onto the screen. Now, a couple other things just to highlight. We also can do typing directly onto the page. I've got my external keyboard attached, so it's not going to bring up the keyboard, but if you had the virtual keyboard, it would be on the page at the moment. And then also we have the microphone access to be able to uh, speak directly into it. So dictation mode, typing mode, and drawing mode. So really, really nice range of touches there that you could utilize. Now, the other thing to just highlight here is the update comes with something with um, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence obviously having a huge impact on things that we're doing these days. The artificial intelligence here, though, is a really, really nice touch because it works with my handwriting. So ordinarily, we'd think things like built into the keyboard, we have predictive text, etc., or working on machine learning. But it does this with my handwriting. So just to demonstrate this, let's just write out a sentence. I'm going to make the pen uh, just a little bit smaller. So we've got that. See it on the page a little bit easier. So let's just write out a sentence. And you'll see I've spelt spelling wrong. It's underlined in red. I can tap on that, same as I would if it was normal text. It will give me things to correct, but it will also correct it in my handwriting, which is a really, really nice touch because if you like to have handwritten notes all the time, you still get the ability to have all of that machine learning functionality. I think it's a really, really nice touch. There's also a current kind of beta uh, test mode at the moment, thinking about the predictive text and whether that works in the same way. So as you're writing, you'll start to see there are options to um, check what might be next. And sometimes this works. I'll be honest, sometimes it doesn't. It is, oh, you just saw it start to pop up there. Um, as it's kind of getting used to what you're writing within the app. So again, really, really nice touch if, if that's something that you're looking to utilize. Um, good notes, 
just it's just fundamentally a fantastic tool. Within the document itself, so I'm in a notebook at the moment, you'll see that you can have different types of templates, etc. If I tap on those templates, you see lots and lots of different styles. So this is where you can kind of jump between what works for you. And again, linking back to that marketplace idea, this is where you think about, well, is there a specific type of paper, a different specific type of um, outline that I might look uh, want, for example, you can see the music ones at the bottom here. So really customizable to anything you want. So that's it. Kind of just a brief overview. I'm sure there are loads of other things within this app that I haven't even begun to look at. But I just think it's a really, really nice app, keeping everything in one place. But that artificial intelligence tool, I think, is going to really change how people that like to do sketch noting can interact and, and check their spelling and make sure everything looks great on the paper. There we go.